Hello! Happy Friday! Um, I'm running a little bit late, but this is a commitment, and so I'm going to bust this out. Luckily, the goal is four minutes or less, so we got this. Thank you for watching. Uh, so my positive, helpful, awesome, super fun tip to stay amazing is... Um, Sorry, I gotta figure out what to call these things. <laughs> I have something awesome for you today. Um, and it's something I've been practicing for a while. It's this idea of looking around for what you want in the world and saying, that's for me too. I could have that too. Yes to that. And this comes from the idea that often when we feel like we don't have what we want, whether it's money or a relationship or a car or, or whatever we feel like we're missing, when we look around and we see other people having that thing, it can feel very negative. Like we can feel like, well, why do they get it? Or they probably don't deserve it. Or that's not fair. And, and we just kind of use the examples that we see in the world as proof that we can't have it or don't deserve it or something twisted like that. And that's understandable and it's natural. Um, but there's a way to change that. And we, like I said in yesterday's video, and like I say in a lot of videos, um, some way or another, I end up saying stuff like this, is that we get to create our own realities. And it's true. And there's science behind this about um, confirmation bias. And I can't remember the fancy word for it, but if we're looking for one thing, our brain filters out everything else that's not that thing. So we're only seeing the thing we're looking for. So what I'm talking about here is um, a fun way to change uh, your approach to things so that when you see something, it becomes like an example or proof or validation or evidence that you can have the thing you're looking for. And you're much more likely to find that thing um, when you're feeling positive about it. And when you're feeling like, yeah, I deserve that too. That's for me too. And if they have it, I can have it. And I can't wait. And I'm getting ready to be ready. I'm so excited. Um, so I have been practicing it with love, finding the love. Um, I don't really believe in soulmate necessarily, but I like the idea of the one for now, <laughs> the better than the last one, one. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I used to be one of those people that would be all brokenhearted and seeing people holding hands and being like, uh, it's not fair. I can't, I cannot ever have. Um, but instead I've been like celebrating love and I see people holding hands and I'll notice like, you know, I'll be on the bus and I'll, and I'll see a guy kind of rub his girl's back and just little tender moments like that. I, I think about them and I consciously say like, yes, that's awesome. And that exists in the world and it can exist for me too. So you can try this with anything that you want more of in your life. Just start looking for the examples. And then when you see them, don't shit on them and don't shit on yourself and your ability to have them. Or why don't I have that yet? Just be like, yes, it's out there. And that means if I see it, that means it's coming at me. And the more I see it, the closer it's getting and I'm welcoming it in and I can have it. There's an alarm going off because that means I need to get my butt in gear and get to school. So it's Friday and you're awesome. Thank you for watching. Bye.